Log entry here. Uh, I'm out in uh, my favorite foot place. It's a uh, Fest I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a very great, great place. Uh, not that busy tonight, so we might get a really good table. Okay, so normally this is like my favorite one right here. Um, the number one. Uh, so this has got a it's got a mixture or a combination of everything that's on the menu. So that's um, you know, the beef, beef flank, the tendon, the tripe, and uh, meatballs and the rare steak. So this is one of my favorites. So. Uh, yeah. Okay. Wait, so, uh, can I get a uh, number one small with the steak on the side? Okay, you want spingo? Uh, yes. Big on the side. Mm -hmm. Three men for? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you should do it. Thank you. Well, thank okay. you, thank you. Oh, and also, the, so we're going to have some appetizers, so it's going to be the shrimp and pork spingo, so it's going to be some really good stuff. You'll like it. Sure, you guys want to tonight. So we got the shrimp and pork spring roll here. Got some really good, got some really good appetizers right there. And then we have a big bowl of. Uh, actually, this is a small. Yeah, so this is actually the one thing I love about this place is that the broth is boiling hot. Now that's the best uh, that's the thing that's a must-have with the bowl of uh, is like it's cooking all these all these uh, all these uh, uh, meat that's tossed with it so yeah check it out so this is actually a small and once the the bow starts expanding it gets a lot bigger so you know a lot of places this is actually a large, but around here it's actually it's just a small. So if you ever get like really really hungry, that's when um, you go for the large. For me, I just, I just need the small to look good. The veggies that come with it. This is uh, something called a uh, go guy. I'm not sure exactly what it means, but it goes really well with the uh, with the flour. We have the Thai basil. Yeah. Thai basil. Always nice to throw in the herbs in there. Now, you don't really have to eat the Thai basil. I mean, like, I usually do. I try to eat as much as I can out of the, out of the bowl because once it mixes up with the broth, it's actually pretty good. The jalapenos, you want to add, you want to add some spice to the jalapenos, which I am going all in. Okay, and of course we got the bean sprouts. It's a lot of work for our starting meal, but you know, it's definitely, you know, it makes it like an option if you want to add in like a lot of, um, you know, a lot of uh, vegetables or herbs in there. Now, you know, this is going to be really weird to a lot of people, but I like to eat these uh, raw. Now these are just really thin slice uh, rare steak. It's really thin, but you know, so it's like a lot of people they eat it because it's they eat it raw because it's fresh. Uh, for me, that's kind of like the same reason too. You can either do that or you just toss in the broth. And like I said, when it's boiling hot, it will cook the meat. So in a sense, it's still pretty fresh too. But for me, like I. I like to eat raw and like um, throw some uh, like some sauce or um, lime on top of it. Okay, so what you're gonna need is uh, lime. Some lime. Usually, usually you throw these in the bowl, but. I mean, I like to marinate this with uh, the rare steak, so it kind of like adds some flavor to the rawness. I guess so that way it doesn't roast itself out. Of course, you got sriracha sauce to cover that. Thing. And of course, then we'll get into the pho. And then, oh yeah, of course, for the spring rolls, this is the peanut sauce that you dip the spring rolls with. Now, I 
I think it's spiced up a little bit too, so I'll toss a whole bunch of it in here. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. It's like, oh my god, he's gonna, he's gonna blow in the morning. But, no. Like I said, I love spicy food, so um, I'll take the risk. So this is the hoisin sauce. Add some sweetness into pretty much uh, the broth. Next is the chili oil. Okay, let me move this out of the way now that's done. I'm gonna marinate a little bit of the chili oil. Right with that rare steak. Oh yeah. Now again, like the more you put in, the spicier it is. That's why the spoon that comes with this is really small. So add a little bit of that to my broth too. Normally, because the broth is good, what you do is, you normally don't have to put any sauce in there, but for me, I like to spice things up a bit, so that's why I add the sriracha chili oil and the hoisin to it, give it a little extra flavor, but otherwise, just eating the the foe with the broth in by itself. That's already really good, but again, it's up to you. It's ready to eat. And then going back to the rare steak, just mix it all up and let it marinate. And you know what, it's, since it's really thin cut too, like the marination doesn't take too long, so it will already be soaked in. This is the number one small with everything, combination of everything. So you have the beef shank, which is this guy right here. Beef shank, more beef shank. Then you got a meatball. Then you got the. Yeah, let me find a bigger piece here. Beef tribe. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know. 
I'm not even sure what kind of tribe that is, but it's it's tribe. And then uh, I can find the other one, but the other one is a uh, ten. Now we have those mixed in this broth, and I, a lot of my friends would always get grossed out by all this mixture of different meat. And, oh yeah, there's the tendon. It's a small piece, but you know, it's there's usually bigger pieces, but you know, a lot of them get shredded up before they get thrown in here. So I was like, so now as gross as these may sound, the I just said the beef flank, the tendon, the tripe, and the rare steak, meatballs. It's all there just for flavor. You don't have to eat this. You don't have to eat all that stuff. Just leave it in there for flavor. And you'll notice a huge difference from this and the other bowl of pho. You'll have another, you'll have another bowl of pho, another bowl of pho out there that's like what? Just the rare steak or just the one with the, the meat and what do you call it? There's not that much flavor in there because you only have the rare steak and you only have the, the meatball. So, you know, with the mixture of all the, the beef shank, the tendon, and all the other meats in there, you'll get a lot more flavor in the broth. You know? and like I said, with the hot boiling broth, it actually cooks all this stuff, so it is actually pretty good. And this is perfect too for winter time when it gets really cold because oh my goodness, it will really warm you up both inside and out. Oh. I gotta eat this good before it soaks up too much soup and now you get full really fast. Mm. Alright. Speaking of gross, remember the rare steaks? Alright, so. Here's what you can do if you want to feel really adventurous. There it is, rare steak. Alright. Triple dog, dare me. Don't have a teeth. So chewing through it is like just nothing. Like I said, you get that fresh taste of you know, the meat, you know, soaked with all the the sriracha, chili oil, poison sauce. Oh, and the lime. Oh my goodness, it goes very well with the noodles. Good broth and everything, so. Um, 
always satisfied around here. So definitely always come here. You know, small number one with the steak on the side. And a shrimp, of course, spring roll. Right, awesome. Go pay you. Thank you. All right, so that was dinner night. Uh, my very first vlog too, so that was pretty cool. So yeah, that was a good dinner. My pho, my pho place that I usually go to. Um, I hope you guys like what you see. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions on where it's at and where to get some more of this good stuff. And you know, until next time, this is Jason Lore with Jason Lore Photography and Films, bringing you art stories and entertainment.